Hey guys, Mike Mackerlin with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com. Today we're going to be talking about ball passes on the ground, similar to a V-up. If you guys don't uh, understand what a V-up is, search V-up in the search bar under the video section. You guys can watch that video. But today we are talking about a ball pass on the ground using a stability ball. If you guys don't have a stability ball, well, you can use it just without a stability ball. But the whole point of a ball pass when you're doing this exercise is you're working both the lower, the mid, or all three, the lower, the mid, and the upper abdominals through the movement based on where the ball is positioned. So I'm gonna do, demonstrate the exercise, explain to you guys some key technique points that you must be aware of when you do this exercise if you're gonna actually see the result. So, first things first, let's just lay back, outstretch, we are holding the ball with our legs, our hands are over our head, we're gonna raise up at the same time, grab the ball, come back down, come up, and lower here. Come up. And just alternating back and forth with our legs and our hands. And relaxing, okay. So I know that looks like it might be difficult, it might be easy, maybe you guys have done it, but there are some things that you probably can't see but you can feel if you're aware of them. First of all, why do we do this with the ball? When you have the ball, mentally, you're not gonna allow the ball or your legs to come all the way down. And in this exercise, you shouldn't have your feet touching the ground. Your abs gotta be really, really strong, even if you're doing a leg lift, to allow your feet to touch all the way at the ground without allowing your abs to break or relax. The reason why is because most of us have a sway or an anterior tilt, which means the smaller your back right here, there's an arch. If you lay on the ground, there's an arch. Anytime that you're doing crunches or you're doing anything where you're laying flat on a flat surface, this arch has to be supported in order for your abs to be contracted. That's the reason why a lot of times people do crunches on the ball is because the curvature of the ball actually supports the base of your back, which means there's more ab involvement. If you come back and you extend here and this is not supported, then what happens is, is all the pressure of the movement is on your butt and on your shoulders, which means your abs are relaxed. So in this case, what happens with the ball passes or any other movement is you want to force the small of your back down against the ground, which means your hips rotate and now your abs are engaged. And as you come down here, because of how you have to hold the ball with your feet, your legs are actually, look, maybe about nine, 10 inches off of the ground, which isn't allowing my back to sway here, okay? So that's the reason why I like this exercise, because you can literally come down, feel the ground touching the ball, and then come back up and reach up and then grab the ball, okay? As you reach up here, and you come back here, same thing. Notice how my feet don't touch the ground, the base of my back is still flat. So when you're doing this exercise, you wanna make sure that the base of your back remains flat. That's gonna make sure that your abs are actually engaged the entire time. And as you pass back here, the same thing. My hands don't go flat. As I have the ball, it's giving me a contact point of how far I have to go, all right? And the reason why, as we come up here, just like in a via, if we come up here, and we're reaching and doing this movement, we're trying to fold the center line of our abs right across our belly button, which means our lower abdominals are coming up with our legs by pulling our legs up, lifting our butt up off of the ground, and as we reach up here, our upper abs are also engaged. So this is a great movement to do if you're not strong enough to actually do the V-ups, either by, the, by yourself without any weight or if you're actually holding a weight. So this is ball passes on the ground using the stability ball. If you guys want to download a workout program that utilizes this exercise, log in, sign up guys. It's 100% free with some optional upgrades, but you get access to the workout programs, become a part of the community. You can create your own workout programs, stop writing them down in a notebook, using the applications we have on the site. That way you can actually take the iPhone and, or your Droid, you download the same workout program you created or any of the ones that we have on the site. So if you guys have any questions, ask me on Facebook 
or ask me in my Q&A section, which is a part of the community tab up top. Click on community, you'll see trainers. Click on trainers, click on me. You guys ask me any question you want and I will answer you and you will get a response. So until next time guys, this is Mike McElroy for another episode of Workout 101 on workouttrainer.com. Take care.